Spinach dip in a bread bowl. If it is at a party, chances are I am right next to it. I love it. So today I am going to be making a glorious appetizer that merges the two into one tidy little package. We are making spinach and artichoke stuffed rolls using Pillsbury thin pizza crust. So first things first, let's make our spinach and artichoke filling. I just have one package of frozen chopped spinach that I've thawed and then about a cup of artichoke hearts and I just kind of broke those apart with my hands. And then you really just wanna to try to squeeze as much moisture from that mixture as you can, so it's nice and dry. Then we are going to throw in a couple tablespoons of mayonnaise. This is why spinach dip is always so delicious. And then about half a block of softened cream cheese. Let's throw in a little bit of salt, pepper, and then about half a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And then I am using garlic powder today, just half a teaspoon. I think in a mixture like this, garlic powder just distributes so much more evenly than a minced garlic clove. So that's why I'm using that today. And then you'll just use a little bit of elbow grease to mix this up into one cohesive mixture. Okay, our mixture is all set, so let's go ahead and crack open some of our pizza dough here. There we go. I love thin pizza crust. You just get more good stuff. And then what we're going to do is cut each crust as evenly as you can. Pizza roller is always good for this. We're gonna go into nine squares. So we need to get 18 out of this mixture. Easiest way for me to portion things is with a scoop. So we're just gonna scoop a tidy little ball of filling into the center of each dough square. Okay, once these are set to go, then the fun part starts. And really this is so easy. What we're gonna do is just kind of fold up the edges and then turn them seam side down. And then we'll go back and roll them around just a little bit more so they're nice and round. But I love this, they're like little bundles. Okay, so now we want to round them out. If you've ever made dinner rolls, you've probably done this before, where you just kind of set down a little bit of flour and then cup one of these guys and just sort of roll it around. Okay, let's get these on a tray. What I'm going to do is just butter very lightly a baking sheet. I've just got some melted butter here. If you have all metal measuring cups, you can do what I do. I use them almost like a tiny little saucepan and they can go right on the heat just if you need to heat up something in small quantities. We're gonna set these guys just so they're lightly kissing on the baking sheet, almost the same way you would set cinnamon rolls next to each other. And then you will have an even 18. I'm just gonna take the rest of my melted butter and just bathe the tops of these beauties with a little bit of that butter so we can get a golden brown sheen and it just makes them extra delicious. And then just to finish them off, a little bit of chopped parsley just for color and flavor a light dusting and then these are going into a 400 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. All right, here we go. They look like an ordinary dinner roll but there's the promise of something delicious inside. It's like spinach and artichoke dip in its own little bread bowl. So you can just pull them apart. They pull apart so easily and they're hot so be careful. But you can see all that good spinach and artichoke goodness on the inside. So I love to pair these up with a good hearty salad, a light pasta dish, or serve them as an appetizer with a little bit of marinara on the side for dipping. So there you go, spinach and artichoke stuffed rolls using Pillsbury Thin Pizza Crust.